Plenty to do when you take over an NCAA hoops program. Our own Brooke Leonard hears from the Hokies' new coach, Mike Young, on how he's feeling about the job a couple of months in. In about six months, Virginia Tech is definitely hoping Castle Coliseum will be a little more filled up than it is right now at the end of June. And while there still are a few holes in the roster, head coach Mike Young is leading on the leadership from the Hokies that are sticking around on the team. You know, Any time that you can have a, you know, a veteran and veterans and leadership roles, uh, you know, all the better. Those guys have been great for me. You know, could not be happier with um, with uh, with those guys. Hey, I'm coaching basketball at Virginia Tech. I just been uh, the ultimate. Been some sleepless nights. I'll put it that way. But I am. It's part of it. You know. I mean, we had uh, a lot uh, going on. Anytime there's a coaching change, there's going to be, you know. Uh, uh, you know, variety of things that uh, that you're faced with. I feel uh, I've always felt great about it. Certainly, uh, much better about uh, you know our direction and uh, you know where we're headed two months in than I did you know a couple weeks ago. In Castle Coliseum, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports. And the news, Coach White and staff did not want to hear about Kerry Blackshear Jr. According to his Instagram account, Blackshear is transferring to the University of Florida for his final year of eligibility. The Gators edge Virginia Tech, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Texas A&M. The 6'10", 250-pounder averaged nearly 15 points, 7.5 boards, and 2.5 assists per game in helping the Hokies to that Sweet 16 appearance this season.